Thank you for watching Virginia This Morning, live right here on CBS 6. Did you know that eating asparagus can help alleviate depression or that beans and brown rice can diminish anxiety while pasta can kind of ramp it up? In this next segment, our friend Andreas White Murdahl talks with a Harvard psychiatrist about the new book, This Is Your Brain on Food, and shares a recipe you can try to make at home. Take a look. At this time of year, people often look to solve physical and mental health issues, especially weight loss and sleeplessness. But the science that is presented in this next book proves that health really starts from within, within the gut. I'm joined by Dr. Uma Naidu, nutritional psychologist and author, to share five tips, five secrets to boosting health and mental well being. Good morning. Good morning, Andreas. It's great to see you. It is great to be with you. This is such an important topic. And in the process of reading your bio, I actually learned a new term, nutritional psychologist. And that's a profession in which you study the relationship between nutrition and mental health. So I'd that like to learn correct. more about that and how you found yourself being the author of such an impactful book. Thanks so much for that great compliment, Andreas. You know, it turns out that the food we eat is as profound as uh, uh, has a profound an impact as the f drugs or pharmaceuticals that we take. And for many years and for eons, we've actually ignored how food makes us feel. We talk about it, but we don't really change our habits in relation in relation to it. The newest science of the gut microbiome and the gut brain connection really has brought this forward. And my work is at the intersection of the psychiatry and mental health, food and nutrition, as well as, you know, the culinary arts. So I really think it's important for us to be able to understand foods that we can add to our diets and good, steady, sustainable habit changes that we can make. And hence, you know, the tips that I go through with people to get them started on this journey. Because like you said, the inside is as important as the outside. And that help because of our gut microbiome really starts from within. So we want to kind of take care of those gut microbes to help us with our mental well-being, but so many other things, sleep, you know, immunity, um, vitamin production, and just feeling overall healthier and well. Yes, absolutely. So your book is titled, This is Your Brain on Food, an indispensable guide to the surprising foods that fight depression, anxiety, PTSD, OCD, ADHD, and more. And you talk about the importance of eating the rainbow. What does that mean? Absolutely. So, you know, like this color, colorful uh, bowl of veggies and uh, fruit and leafy greens right here, the color of the rainbow is, is buying as many different vegetables and fruit as you can, different colors and textures, because the phytonutrients are anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, great for your brain, great for your body. Including those every day is something that we should be doing. And we know that as Americans, we tend to not eat as much fiber as we should. And th these are great sources of fiber, because guess what? We get fiber from vegetables, fruit, beans, nuts, seeds, and legumes. So it's a good way to get us started on that journey. But then, you know, it's also prioritizing our gut health and improving things uh, for how we are feeling. And you have some recipes there that are going to help us get to this wonderful place of gut health. Let's start Absolutely. with the first one. Absolutely. So one of my favorites is an on-the-go chia pudding. I make these in little mason jars, basically two or three ingredients. And chia seeds are a rich source of omega-3s. They are rich in fiber and protein. And then I top it with delicious nuts and berries. And that way I add sweetness without adding in any, actually any sugar, which is a good way and something you can make ahead for the busy mom, busy dad, busy parent on the go. It's something that you can take with you and is really a great brain food. So then some other snacks that I like to talk about are um, omega-3 fatty acids, another one of my tips for improving your brain health. This is an easy, inexpensive sardine snack. Some of the tips about buying sardines in canned is get them in water and get ones with the skin and bones because actually there's more nutrition in that if you like sardines. Easy, inexpensive snack for a pick-me-up in the afternoon or whenever you might need it. Um, and then I, one of my favorites is how to include fermented foods in your diet because fermented foods, again, nurture us from the inside because they take care of the gut. 
This is miso glazed sweet potatoes, a recipe that I share. And I did it with some baked chicken and lots of leafy greens. Leafy greens are great for your gut and a rich source of folate, great for your brain because your folate levels are associated with a low mood or depression. So just some ways that you can get started on the journey. I love this because it gives you such an opportunity to rethink some of the foods that maybe aren't in your normal diet, but it doesn't mean that they have to be difficult, right? You can, if you plan an That's advent, it. you can do things and have these little snacks that are available to you whenever you're ready to have a really healthy snack. Thank you so exactly. much. Tell us Thank a little you. bit more about where we can find the book. Absolutely. Wherever books are sold. You can look at my website, umanaidumd.com. We have links there. Um, support your local bookstore and uh, follow me on social. I'm always putting out updated research and information there. Well, thank you so much for being with us. We are going to get to that place of gut health, mental health, and overall well being. Thank you so much. Thanks, Andrea. It was lovely to talk to you. Thank you. For those of you who are interested in learning more about this incredible book and the recipes that you've learned about today, visit our website at wtvr.com slash BT.